YouTube family, man. So I done pulled the vet out, man. We about to head to the gym. I just finished running two miles and we just about to head to the gym, do a little light leg date. And after that, we got a little date, dinner in the movie. But I'm trying out this POV shit. You know what I'm saying? My point of view. Just want to show y'all, get some footage for y'all. Right now, I got this GoPro Hero 9 recording in 4K. This is how my mama look. This is how the vet look. This is how my baby look. LS3 C609. This is a C6 base model. LS3. I'm gonna pop the hood for you. Show you what we're working with. That's how it look. It's a POV. If you ever thinking about getting a C6 in 2024, you can't go wrong. I kid you not, man. This LS3 produced 430 horsepower. Man, this baby here fun to ride. Now, I don't ride it every day. I only have 79,000 miles on it. And like I said, it's a 2024. I mean, it's an 09, but it's, doing, it's performing pretty well in 2024. I wax, I polish it. It's a little dirty right now. I ain't washed it in like two months. I keep it covered up in a tarp. This is how it's looking though, man. Yeah, I can't complain. 5% tint all the way around. Spoiler in the back, drop top. That's how we looking. Closer though, I wanna see something. Oh uh, yeah, that's that 5%, you can't see shit. I love that. All right, so we in the car now, so I had to swap out the lens. The other lens I had was made for to be outside cinematic view. So I'm gonna swap the lens, we about to take off and move. But you thinking about getting a C6, man? This is the technology in it. Pretty base and simple, I mean, but it's a sports car. Like, who really in here for a, a, a you know what I'm saying, you need a tablet and all that for when you got an LS3 motor, you know what I mean? It's telling you to buckle up. I'm gonna do a little pull for y'all. And one thing I love about it, this car is not obnoxious. Like, as you can see, it's not loud at all. You can't even hear the exhaust. But the thing is, if I want this bitch to move, if I stomp on it, because the way how the exhaust set up on this car, it has four exhausts, but only two of them run if I'm in the city, right? But if, if I go to sports mode or if I'm like trying to race somebody, all four will open up. And the sound that the vet makes is heavenly, bro. It seems like you unleash some demons. did on this car so far i mean obviously nothing's perfect right had to change replace the spark plugs fuel injectors and the compressor for the ac i done probably spent about fifteen thousand dollars uh for its repairs for this car obviously i would have saved a lot of money if i uh didn't go to the car dealership but my pops he was a firm believer in like you know bringing it to the dealership because you know they trustworthy whatever whatever which i get it you know my pops were born in 56 so it's like you know back then in america you had people you could trust and shit like that but these dealers be kind of like guessing and scratching their head they don't really know what the fuck they're doing and i kind of like know about cars a little bit so the ls3 mode is pretty fucking easy to work on everything you need is gonna be right on top you know what i'm saying for the most part unless you got to get to compressor or like you know your transmission obviously it's gonna be up under the car and the car is small so it's hard to maneuver but like little simple basic repairs like changing the brakes i did that myself i put new brake pads and all that on there oil changes i take that to the dealership because i got a lifetime warranty it's, it's free because the car is paid for but for now, any other repairs, it's gonna be strictly me. But I have put fifteen thousand dollars worth of repairs into this car. Uh, but I can't complain, man. Like, you know, tires on here is not cheap. You are looking at about four fifty, five hundred per tire. You know, so I spent about twelve hundred, fifteen hundred on just tires alone. 
So, but the way how I do it, I just do it two by two. I'm just keeping it real with you. Like this in the hood, bro. They sell free wine. I don't care. Really, it's that, nice. that don't justify your price in the hood. That shit twenty dollars. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. It's forty. No, it's not. I don't know. It's somebody tell me that they're listening to me. Fucking nails don't cost forty dollars. No. Because you in the if hood. You only it know it don't. For the only time nails are gonna cost forty dollars now if you're getting regular paint, which is gonna last you about a week tops. And and you're not getting no designs or no extra nails on. That's the only time it's gonna cost forty dollars. That's what she said. Somebody gonna agree with me. In the Somebody. Yeah, you got some people think the world is flat. First so. of all, we're not talking about those people. Though. We talking about the girly girls that be getting their nails done on a regular. You're talking about the females that, that get BBLs and shit? No, I'm talking about the girls, like I said, that get nails done on a regular. And I'm trying to tell you that it ain't five years ago where you could go to get your nails done and pay six to eight dollars. These girls over here taxing. Stop that bullshit, that bitch be making my blood flow, boy. Oh, yeah, I like that shit. But yeah, man. This ain't number 09, huh? That motherfucker be in the Hellcast and shit be. Oh, that bullshit on me. I might be dusting the fuck out of this old ass car, but. Ain't nothing like a good old LS3. Good old American muscle. What is he doing? What are you doing? Lady, fuck out my way. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I mean, she was old, so I mean, you kind of. I don't give a damn. Look, you, she, you got old people be getting on my nerves because <laughs> they fucking just tell the truth and expect for me not to tell the truth. Look, I'm tired of old people just telling me how it is. Now y'all gonna be old one day the same way. And I will. <laughs> but it's okay. I got something for that young ass if they try to clap back. I got some. Shut my cane up your ass. That's what I'm gonna do. Big freak, huh? <laughs> Look at this freak nigga. He done parked this shit sideways. <laughs> so you in the park next to the man? Not really. He kind of forced me to park way back here. I don't like being by nobody. There is nobody literally right here. Dang, this shit is dead like a motherfucker. Sunday, that's what I'm people still in church mm -hmm. we should be in church we should be but lord they pay me double time on sundays so i hope he understand we could always listen to our sermon we know that right? yeah we could but we done made it to the gym it's how it looks we done pulled up and i hate parking by people i kind of know i made it feel awkward for him parking by him good, but no yeah you do he got it faded Exactly. But uh, yeah, I hate parking by people. So this is how I always like to park, kind of isolate away from everybody. And like I said, I know I got him feeling awkward because he's doing the same I'm thing. Okay. But uh, all right. Uh, yeah, man, I'm about to wrap up the video. We about to do a little leg day, and that's pretty much it, man. Y'all boys be smooth.